Absinthe limits you to processing only 24 keyframes at a time. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to process more than that, this is your workaround. To help explain this process to you, I'm gonna use an example from my animated web series. This is an excerpt of a shot from there, but I had to draw a whopping 59 keyframes for this thing. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna divide 24 by your total number of keyframes. I ended up with three folders, 24, 24, and 11, and that equals 59 keyframes. Now the next thing you wanna do is that for each folder of keyframes that you made, you wanna make a corresponding Epson file and then run each Epson file. When you have multiple folders of keyframes, go ahead and process your last folder first and set your stop, your very first stop, to zero. Setting your first stop to zero is gonna set up your After Effects file in a way to avoid confusion, and this is how. It'll make a complete sequence and make it way less messier when you're importing your other batches. Okay, we just exported the last set of keyframes. Now we're gonna to skip to the first set of keyframes. Now, once you've done that, you wanna select all, cut, and paste those into the first sequence that we created. So now you wanna match the last keyframe in your first batch to the frame number in your sequence. And once you've done that, set a marker. This is gonna help you when you import your next batch. All right, I've exported the last sequence into After Effects. I'm cutting and I'm pasting those keyframes into our master sequence. And now what I wanna do is I wanna line up the very first frame of that batch to that marker. Now that that's set, let's go ahead and verify just to make sure. So the last keyframe of the second batch is 516. I'm gonna drag the playhead to frame 516, zoom in and make sure that the first frame of the third batch is at 516. And that's it. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment below and subscribe.